I'm Belinda Riga from Advent Health, Hotter, Florida, and this is Advent Health TV. Hi everyone, I'm Tom Johnson. What a week. We have a lot to share with you, including several growth projects. Let's start on our flagship campus in Orlando. This is what it looks like right now at the corner of Dade Avenue and East Winter Park Street, but a major change will begin here soon and this will begin to take shape. It's a new high-rise medical tower. The 12-story, 300,000 square foot building will snuggle right up to I-4. There are also plans for a new 10-level parking structure right next to it. Plans call for the new tower to have space for neuroscience, imaging, rehabilitation and research, even a cafe. There will also be an entire floor dedicated to orthopedics, which brings us to our next announcement. We are very proud um, to be joining uh, together with Rothman Orthopedic Institute. Rothman Orthopedic Institute is bringing world-class orthopedic care to Orlando alongside the stellar care of Advent Health Orthopedic Institute. Rothman clinical teams will be based out of that new tower, which further expands our Orlando Health Village. So we take Rothman's expertise and then combine it with millions of dollars in investments in large-scale facilities that allow for surgery and patient care using an evidence-based approach. I'm just really excited. Combined with our current team of expert physicians uh, like Dr. Dean Cole and, and his team, it's something I think will be a game changer for Central Florida. We are significantly expanding support. Another important event at our hospital in Orlando, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services announcing an expansion of support for living organ donation to include compensation for lost wages, child care, and elder care. HHS Secretary Alex Azar made the statement at Advent Health because of the preeminence of our transplant institute. October is upon us and with it comes Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So this week we need to let you know about this year's Pink On Parade, which is for the first time virtual. Let's go! go. Pink On Parade is of course a 5K, which celebrates all those brave souls battling breast cancer, as well as survivors and those who shine on through their loved ones. As we said, this year we're taking it virtual and we're also taking it throughout all of Advent Health across the nation. You will walk or run on your own this time, anytime, then submit your race results and share your photos and videos on social media. Okay, get your fingers ready because you're gonna need to hit the pause button in a second to look at some pink on parade info. I'll wait. All right, you ready? Here we go. The Pink on Parade website is really easy one to remember. It's pinkonparade.com. That's where you want to go to register and get all the other info you need. If you want your race pack delivered to you, the deadline to register is October 5th. Also, make sure you write this one down. You get a $5 discount because you are an Advent Health team member. The discount code is Pink Employee. Have fun. Of course, many of you are still working from home right now because of the pandemic, and we want to help make that experience as easy as possible. So we reached out to a nationally recognized expert for a little practical advice. It is definitely a challenge. Emily Parks has a lot to say about what many of you have shown us what you're doing right now, working from home. And she knows it's not always easy. We are not working from home. We are at home during a global pandemic trying to accomplish work. Emily is a nationally recognized productivity expert with a robust website filled with tips and tricks to help you work from home. We asked her for her top three tips. First, your workspace matters. It puts you in the right frame of mind and lets others know you're in work mode. Whether it be the dining room table or a corner of the living room or a specified room that is your office, making sure you have a designated space is important. Next, routine matters. Create routines and stick with them. Working from home when you're outside of your normal environment makes these routines that much more important. Finally, Emily says your breaks matter and you need to make sure you build them into that routine. Making sure that you're including that movement throughout the day, staying hydrated, eating well, it's the 
only way to keep fueled and moving the right direction. Take care of yourself while you work from home and your work will likely be better and easier. Just take a step back to connect with ourselves so that we are giving our best selves to our work. All right, admit it. Sometimes you wish you could just kind of sneak out when you're on like the fourth of seven Teams meetings in one day, right? This pick comes to us from Jason Lucas, who is an analyst with iSynergy. That's his work from home set up there. Notice his coworker, Piper, over to the left. Jason says Piper is cool with watching Advent Health TV, but when Teams meetings start, Piper often does this. <laughs> yep, Piper sneaks on out the door, does not need any help doing it either, as you can see, despite the fact that she is, you know, a cat and does not have thumbs to grasp with. Wow. Don't forget to send us your photos and videos. Hit us up on email at adventhealthtv at adventhealth.com. We'll see you next time. Stay healthy.